All right, let's get back to our weather here locally with meteorologist Thomas Patrick joining us. Thomas, we love the weather today, but like all good things, they must come to an end. And here comes the wet weather. Yeah, and the rain is returning to the area tomorrow, but we've got a couple weather systems that will be moving through. So hopefully you got a chance to see some of the views. The trees still shining their brilliant fall colors. Not going to last for much longer when it gets windy and when it gets rainy. A lot of those leaves tend to fall very quickly. Check out the scene in the South Hill. This was at Lincoln Parks Pond, a beautiful sight, but the rain is going to be the priority of our forecast for the next several days here in the inland northwest. Storm system number one is off the coast of British Columbia. The low pressure center is actually drifting northward, but it's that cold front that's extending into western Washington. Well, that steady rainfall is just marching eastward, but pretty slowly, allowing for that rain to basically stay for several hours at any given time. And when it reaches us by around 5, 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning, it pretty much will start and Stay that way for several hours. We take you from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on future trackers. Still just steady rain across eastern Washington and northern Idaho. It looks like it should clear up for central Washington by the evening hours, but it might be still lingering around for some of the football games for tomorrow evening. So keep that in mind, particularly for our northern and eastern areas in North Idaho. We'll likely still see rain Friday evening. As for the weekend, it's Saturday morning is going to be our dry stretch of weather just for those 12 hours because the rain returns at around 4 p.m. or so on Saturday afternoon and then stays once again on Sunday. That's that second weather system, which is going to be incredibly strong. Look at this low pressure area that's going to go on. That's going to undergo this rapid intensification known as bombogenesis or bomb cyclogenesis. That's the, where the term bomb cyclone comes from. It's that low pressure area that's intensifying. You couple that with an atmospheric river which will feed in tropical moisture and you just get this huge, huge West Coast storm that's going to be pretty much influencing the entire western U.S. All of the states from California through Washington, the coastal areas could expect three to five inches of rain. For us in the inland northwest, we're a bit more sheltered because we got the mountains that usually squeeze out more of that moisture before it reaches us. We'll go one to two inches of rain for the next seven days combined. Most of this falling at some point between Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. That's right, a three day weather event that should very much knock down some of the drought situation that we've had ongoing for the last several months across the region. One to two inches of rain over a long period of time shouldn't be shouldn't give us any kind of flooding concerns. Instead, it should be incredibly healthy and beneficial for our region. But again, just to reiterate, if you're looking for a dry stretch of weather, it's Saturday mornings that time frame.